Hello everybody, welcome to Golden Coast Woodworks. Today in the shop I'm building a cart for my small shop compressor. What you see me doing here is breaking this large sheet of 4x8 Baltic birch plywood into a smaller piece so that I can better manage it at the table saw. All of the pieces are first ripped to width and then trimmed square and to size at the table saw using a crosscut sled. In total, there are 14 separate pieces needed to build this compressor cart. The sides of each tray are going to be tapered from back to front at the bandsaw. And I saw this trick on another person's channel where you bind both sides together with painter's tape and then cut them at the same time. So that's what you see me doing here. This masking tape method worked surprisingly well. The sides didn't come apart or jostle in any way, throwing off my cut. The sides of the upper and lower trays are identical as far as I can tell. With the tapers cut on the sides, I decided to just ease over all the edges and smooth the faces of the plywood just to give it a, a more finished look. With all of my cuts out of the way, I began the assembly process for the trays. I'm using glue and brad nails to assemble everything. I've used this method before and haven't had any issues with it in the past, so I decided to use it again. My compressor is very lightweight and I felt that screws would be a little overkill for this project. But if you feel that you want that added security of a more sturdy fastener, I will go ahead and use screws instead of nails. All of the same assembly methods that I'm using for this tray will also be used on the upper tray. The upper and lower trays will be held together with 2x4s. I cut those 2x4s to length at the miter saw. To secure the 2x4 posts to each tray, I first tack them into place with brad nails and then secure them permanently with wood screws. I follow this method on both sides of the lower and upper trays. To allow the fasteners I'll use to secure the casters to the bottom of this cart, I wanted to provide something extra for them to grab onto when I attach the wheels. So I'm adding these little pads to the bottom of each 2x4 post and to the front before securing the wheels. This cart has two locking casters in the rear and two swivel casters in the front. I wanted a place to hang my compressor hose on the cart and I found these cool aluminum hooks at my home store. I believe they are in the, the organization section of the store, uh, but they worked perfectly for hanging my hose. 
As you can see, this cart is maneuverable in virtually any direction, which was the exact outcome I was hoping for when I imagined this in my head. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know how I'm doing in the comment section below and if you'd like the plans for this cart, please visit the link in the description section. And as always, please like and subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate all your support.